Well, now we're just a few days away from the first coast to coast total, total solar eclipse of the U.S. in almost 100 years. Channel 5 News is going to be heading north to witness the eclipse and tell the stories about the midday darkness. We'll be traveling almost 1,100 miles to St. Joseph, Missouri to see the total eclipse. Photojournalist Rick Ramirez and I plan to watch the eclipse from the center of the path of totality. Now consider this, just the fact that an eclipse can even happen is pretty amazing. Think about it, the moon is going around the earth, the earth is going around the sun, the earth is spinning on its axis the entire time, and when everything lines up perfectly, boom, you have an eclipse. But there's even more to it than that. Well, it's, it's fascinating because it, it's kind of a, a, a quirk of geometry. The moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but the sun is 400 times further away. So they, the moon and the sun occupy about exactly the same disk in the sky, and so the moon can just barely cover up the total disk of the sun. As everything lines up, the moon will cast a shadow on the Earth, a shadow that this time is only about 70 miles wide. So to see the total eclipse, you need to be in the right place, somewhere along this line that runs coast to coast across the U.S. Now, solar eclipses are not rare. They happen every 18 months or so, but usually nowhere close to where we are. Here in the valley, the moon will block about half the sun this time, so it won't get really dark, but it should be noticeable. The moon will start to eat away at the sun at about 11.46 a.m., reaching a peak of just over 50% at 1.14 p.m. By 2.41, things will be back to normal. Well, it's been almost 100 years since an eclipse has gone all the way across the United States. We'll have a closer eclipse in just seven years. That one in 2024 will be total from near Del Rio all the way to New England. Dr. John Gerling's an orthodontist who just happens to be fascinated by space. He'll be part of the group we'll be traveling with to Missouri. He says if you want to see a total eclipse, you better do it soon. The moon's getting about an inch further away from Earth every year. And in a few million years, it won't be able to cover up the total surface of the sun, so there will be no more total solar eclipses as viewed from Earth. So I want to see it while I'm around, and I don't have a million years to wait. Dr. Gerling, everybody going to be leaving Saturday morning. Channel 5, we're driving up. We'll be doing Facebook Live reports all along the way. Dr. Gerling's flying, by the way. Live Facebook updates all along the way. and We'll have reports throughout the weekend and, of course, all day Monday from St. Joseph, Missouri, right on the center line, two minutes and 38 seconds of darkness.